Good morning, give a love I'm really, fingers crossed, my stream's working today properly and there's no lag. It was a disaster yesterday. So, fingers crossed. I called up the internet people and was like, you know, I'm expert. So, I'm hoping that it's all resolved now. Disaster yesterday. Oh, that's interesting. Sounds all rubbish. Let me switch my audio. Yeah, let me switch my audio to this guy. And that should now improve my audio. It should be a slightly better quality. Mr. Duncan has nice voice effects. <laughs> is that better now, guys? Hopefully it is. Um, I'm just going to check that I'm also streaming at a decent camera quality. Yes, it does appear to be. <clears throat> oh, wow, it's better. Excellent. Yeah, it's nice now. <laughs> good, good. Right, so it appears like everything seems to be working again now. So I'm going to switch my camera over to my new clip cam. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <clears throat> and then share my screen and let's crack on. Uh, can I also um, ask somebody to message Ruby just to make sure that we can I can get Ruby onto the onto the lesson? That would be fabulous. Right, share screen. So today's lesson, guys. Oh, that didn't work out. Hang on a sec. There we go. There's today's lesson. So IGCSE organic lesson two. What is this? Toby, you don't know. What is this? I don't, I don't quite get it. Uh, okay, three learning objectives today, guys. I'm right, I'm gonna switch my tablet over. Mr. Duncan, my mum wanted to ask if the pixel paints behind you is Bob Marley. Uh, yes, it is actually, and I painted them. All three of those are mine. I painted all three of those. Yeah, so you've got James Dean on the left, Bob Marley in the middle, and then you've got Frank Sinatra on the right. They're mine. I, I did them about four years, uh, about five years ago now. I'm actually doing a new one, although I haven't started it yet. I just bought all the stuff. I had to go and buy myself an easel, some paints, some paintbrushes, and I bought them all over the Christmas holiday. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to do an Audrey Hepburn for a friend of mine. Uh, right, okie dokie, so combustion lesson, uh, this is organic lesson two, and we're looking at combustion. So we were talking about yesterday, we were talking about crude oil, and we were talking about fractional distillation, we went through those steps, vaporize the crude oil, feed into tower, tower has a temperature gradient, hot at the bottom, warm at the top, bigger molecules have a higher boiling point because they have stronger weak intermolecular forces, Therefore, they condense lower down in the tower. Technically seven points, but the tower has a temperature gradient and hot at the bottom, warm at the top are the same marks. So six points in total. Now, often at Excel, they give four marks for that question, but you need all six points to gain them. So bear that in mind. We didn't really talk so much about the properties. So it's nice just to mention that longer chains have higher boiling points. They have a higher viscosity, so they are thicker. And that's the same explanation as the boiling point, bigger molecules, stronger weak intermolecular forces. I'm really emphasizing stronger, yeah? Because um, it's a comparison. They're not strong weak intermolecular forces. You can't have that. They are stronger weak intermolecular forces, therefore more viscous. But they are thicker, the liquids become thick. Uh, and also they're darker. And they also burn less cleanly. Yeah, they burn with the dirt. The longer the chains, the dirtier the flame. Uh, and we're going to talk a bit about that today, actually, in terms of combustion. So three learning objectives. Three learning objectives. Uh, and, and it's nice to see that I'm hitting every single one of my types. So we number one is the understand. So we need to understand complete and incomplete combustion. We then need to know no, this is pure knowledge now, guys. Yeah, you've got to learn this stuff. You need to know the products of each of those, know each of their problems and what solutions we have for them. And the last one is being able to balance equations. And that one there is the half trick. So, and this half trick is so useful. This is the first time the half trick becomes apparent in balancing equations because of oxygen. 
And I'll talk us through that when we get there. Okay, so first thing we need to talk about is complete and incomplete combustion. Okay, so now I think most people will remember this from year nine. The last time we did this was in year nine. Amazingly, isn't that crazy? So combustion, the word combustion. Uh, can I just... Can, can I just have you guys just give me, if, if there's any problem with the stream, as I said, yesterday my internet broke down through TM and I had to can, I had to end my year 13 lessons. I actually tried to run them in Google Hangouts and it was still, still awful. So if there's any problem with the stream, if it suddenly loses quality, like I'm trying to, I'm streaming this at the highest quality I can. So if there was any issue, just give me a shout on the chat and I'll try to readjust. I'll send out worksheets or whatever. I have kind of prepared for that eventuality is that even the right word? so combustion combustion now i like to always put a translation for this combustion is the posh word for burning yeah i'm just going to put underneath that burning yeah and you can't i don't want you to say the word burning it kind of gets banned now for gcse they don't really care so much at year seven but when you get to year nine and you went to the gcse chemistry the word combustion is an important word to use so combustion a chemical reaction, a chemical reaction, a chemical reaction between, between a fuel and oxygen. Producing, producing CO2 or C O or C and H two O. Can I just point out that this actually isn't this isn't actually um, this doesn't actually do enough. There are there are other combustions out there um, which are called combustions, and uh, they actually produce different products. And I'm going to mention those later on. But this is the main one. This is this is true combustion. Uh, the one I'm going to mention, which is the Nota Bene, and you can add this to your notes. Nota bene, combustion of sulfur, combustion of sulfur. Now, I shouldn't really say that. I shouldn't say the word combustion. I should say the word oxidation. But it does get rolled into it. Sulfur is a, is a problem in combustion because it's kind of, it taints all our fuels. It's in coal. It's in oil. Uh, and which means you often see it as part of, part of the combustion lessons. Combustion of sulfur, which is the element S, will produce, will produce SO2, sulfur dioxide. I'll put that there. I'm also going to mention nitrogen as well. Um, I'll do that later on, though. Uh, no, I won't. I'll, I'll may as well, I may as well do a second one at the, this point as well. Nota bene. I could do it. The, I could do it in the same one. No, I'm not going to now. I've done it. Uh, Nota bene number two. Nota bene. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Um, I want to say the word combustion. I shouldn't really. Nitrogen oxidation. I'm going to put combustion. I don't care. Combustion of nitrogen. Combustion of nitrogen. And of course, this is an element ending in gen, so it's N2. Produces it. I have to be tricky with this. This is tricky one. Produces NO or NO2. However, I want you guys to know this guy. That's the most common. NO2 is much more common than NO. Uh, and it's the one that Edexcel want you to know for GCSE. In reality, you actually form a mixture, and we often describe it as NOx, NOx, meaning a mixture of NO and NO2. But I, I encourage you guys for GCSE to just focus on NO2. The reason by it being is it links to SO2, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide. It's just easier to remember rather than trying to remember each individual person and their different products. It's just easier to fix onto ones that have similarities. And so I'll, 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 NO2 is the one to focus on. Okay, so combustion reactions. So at this point, I'm also going to mention a fuel. So the word fuel, a substance, a substance 
that can be burnt, <laughs> combusted, <laughs> brackets, combusted. It's a stupid word, that, isn't it? Combusted to uh, release heat, to release energy, to release heat energy, a fuel. There we go. So fuels, by the way, key thing there is the, the, the energy point, because if you burn like candles are fuels, and candles we're using for light, you're not going to heat something on a candle unless you're roasting marshmallows on them, you're not going to be doing that. Uh, <clears throat> but we, we use candles for light, but, a, but so you wouldn't deem candles as a fuel, yet we're not trying to, ex we're, tr we're trying to extract heat energy out of these uh, when we're doing a fuel because we're using it most of the time to generate electricity or to generate movement. And by the way, I'm just going to pop out the chat of my YouTube, and then I can close my YouTube channel. So, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, there we go. There we go. My chat's there. Okay. So, so it's nice to mention fuel there. Okay. So I'm going to underline that. So now that we've talked about what combustion is, we now need to start talking about complete versus incomplete. Yeah. So complete versus incomplete so not complicated so this is what we want want it so complete combustion and incomplete combustion uh, we want complete because if you burn something completely you get maximum energy output so complete combustion i actually ought to write underneath there combustion because each of those words requires it. You can't just do them individually. Yeah. So complete is always so bullet point. Complete combustion. Complete combustion releases. Releases max energy. Max energy. The maximum amount of energy you can produce. And to get it, uh, to do this, to accomplish complete combustion, to do this, you require, I'm sure you guys remember, blank oxygen. On the chat, please. What do I need? What word goes on that blank? Okay, so let's now look at an equation. And it's nice that we now begin the process and we realize how we tie these things in. We can recognize the difference between complete and incomplete in terms of energy output. We've talked about off fuelers, and then we're dropping into my third learning objective. So let's now have a look at one. Let's take an example, e.g. <clears throat> oh, before I do that, um, complete combustion Complete combustion produces, well done, Kieran, blank and blank. Well done, Kieran, for being the first person on the chat. And he is absolutely correct. It is the word excess. And the word, remember, the word excess means more than enough more than needed. In the calculations, we ignore the excess. Yeah, that's for the excess reagent calcs. Level nine, hardest questions in calculations. Really tough. You have to run moles for both, then compare the moles with the mole ratio from the equation. They're level nine, tough questions. Uh, they're um, grade C at A level. Yeah, they're tough. Thank you, Tong, you star. Complete combustion produces carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide and water. Well done, Tong, thank you very much. Ah, oh, my two heroes of the class so far, Kieran and Tong, commendations to you both. Well done. Okay, so let's have a go at balancing some equations. So, EJ, question number one. So I'm going to take uh, me, that starts simple and then get hard. So I'm gonna take CH4, I'm gonna ask on the class, 
What is the name of this, please? I'm going to add oxygen to it, remembering nota bene. Nota bene. NB. All elements, all elements ending, ending in in or gen are diatomic. It's nice to remind ourselves of this X2. Yeah, look at that. I love you guys knowing your organic naming. Makes me so happy. Well done, guys. Methane, who was first on the chat? Ashley, commendation. Well done. It's a great job. So we're going to react this with oxygen, diatomic, and we're going to produce CO2 and water. Right, guys? And balance, please. I'd like you to pause the video. Have a go at balancing. I know that this is now going to add in uh, a delay for some people, but you can then bring it back to the front <clears throat> or then run it at double speed to catch up. I know that you guys do clever stuff with that. Um, so pause the video. Have a go at balancing it, please. And the key thing here in terms of complete and incomplete is the products. These products tell us complete combustion. Okay, let's balance. I'm going to balance this in red. Why not? No, I'll balance in green. So one carbon, one carbon, four hydrogens, two hydrogens, put a big number two in front. Right, I've changed somebody. Start again. So I now go one carbon, one carbon, four hydrogens, four hydrogens, that's good, oxygens, two oxygens, two and two, that's four in total. So I'm gonna put my two there, and I am now finished. I'm gonna check it, you always check an equation. One carbon, one carbon, four hydrogens, four hydrogens, four oxygens, and four oxygens, we're done. I like it, nice, easy balance to start off with. I like it. Let's go for the next one. Question number two. You do. We're going to get steadily harder, folks. Steadily harder. Okay, next one. Let's go for C5H12 plus O2 goes to CO2 and water. Once again, complete combustion. Guys, off you go. Uh, I'm also going to ask name, please. Name it. <clears throat> uh, if you finish balancing really quickly, Ruby. Oh, hi, Ruby. Don't worry about I overslept. Don't worry about it. Just watch the video from the start, and I am quite happy. Watch it at double speed until you catch up. It's absolutely fine, Rubes. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'll mark you in on the register. Thank you, Ru, for giving me that. Pentane, I'm now going to ask uh, the hardest question of the lesson so far. Well done, Rue. Well done, Ben. Well done, Ashley. Well done, Shan. I'm now going to ask the hardest question so far. Well done, Con. There is one. No. Darn it. There are two isomers of pentane. Okay, technically, three isomers, including pentane. Ooh. But there are two additional isomers. We've got pentane here. There's pentane, the straight chain version. Yeah, there are two other isomers of pentane. Can you please, once you have finished balancing, can you please draw the isomers? By the way, this is called a displayed formulae. Formula. There we go. It's not actually formulae, because formulae, of course, is the plural. This is formula, because it's a singular. It's fine. Cool. Let's now balance. The, so I've got people now, can, now that they finish balancing, they're then going to give me the two isomers. In the meantime, I'm going to complete balancing the equation. Five carbons, one carbon. Stick a five in. I've made a change. Start again. Five carbons, five carbons. Twelve hydrogens, two hydrogens. Multiply it by six. Made a change. Start again. Five carbons, five carbons, 12 hydrogens, 
12 hydrogens and the hard one, oxygen. Two oxygens here, but I've got 10 here and six here. Total 16. I need to get 16. I need to multiply that, that pair by a number to get 16, which is eight, and I'm done. Let's do a check. We always check the final result. Ah, oh, Con's given me one. Well done, Con. Con has given me one of the Icemas. He's even named it for me. I'm so impressed, Con. Well done. Two methyl butane. Well done, Con. There's one more, folks. Hey, Tong! Con and Tong, you've both now got yourselves commendations. Well done. Make a note on your piece of paper of how many commendations I get out today, and then you can let your form teacher know. Well done, guys. I am so impressed with you. I, I love, oh, Rue, that's brilliant. Prone. I don't know what prone is, Rue. What's prone? Tutu dimethyl prone. Like, did you mean prawn? <laughs> but well done, Rue. I know what you meant. Uh, Tong was there on this one. Well done. That was excellent. Look at that. And I have you guys naming at an A-level level. That's amazing. A-level standard. I love it. You do not need to be able to name these at GCSE, but this is 2,2-dimethylpropane. If you don't understand how I'm doing that naming, please watch my lessons on YouTube on organic naming that I've done in the past, and that'll be able to help you out with that. Um, guys, did, did everyone get the same balancing as I did? Give me a thumbs up if you got 1,856. That would be grand. And it's so nice to add those names in. 2 methyl butane well done con so impressed by the way just to explain the two methyl this is the methyl branch and it's on carbon number two yeah there you go this one is two two because there's my longest chain and it's on both branches are on carbon number two so two two and there are two of them so you say die they both contain one one carbon so it's a meth and it's an aisle because they're branches and then the longest chain is propane. Well done, Tong. So impressed. So cool, this. And do I love the fact that I see, I feel like I've taught you guys organic the way that I always wished I had. Like, I've never taught organic this well at GCSE before, and I just love it. It makes me so happy. It gives me goosebumps. It's cool, right? Cool, let's go for the next balance. Okay, it's getting slowly harder. Number three. Right, I'm gonna throw a spanner in the works now, guys. Give this one a go. CH3. CH two OH plus oxygen goes to we're gonna we're gonna stick with complete combustion yeah so CO two and water these tell us it is complete max energy output complete combustion and balance let's see if I can trip a couple of you guys up oh I love you Con Con you're such a ledge he's already on it this is ethanol our favorite Friday night molecule. Um, yes, it is the one that gets you drunk. This is correct. By the way, you're not allowed to put that. If you ever have ethanol makes an appearance at IGCSE, you have to understand the, the methods of making it. It's gonna come up in our organic lessons later on. So I will teach you guys how to make this stuff. And, but what you do need to be able to know, how, how is con so fast? I love it. I just love it. Um, that ethanol, they're going to ask you for a use of ethanol, and the use of ethanol is a fuel. Please be aware of this. The use is a fuel. Please do not put drinking it. We make, I was behind and thought he guessed it. <laughs> um, you Please do not put that you drink it. It's not a good response in a GCSE exam to say, you know, ah, oh, it gets you drunk. It's not a good idea. Please don't. It's a fuel. 95% of all the ethanol that we make goes into petrol. Yeah, it's actually an additive in petrol to make it burn more completely because it's a shorter chain than octane. Isn't that cool? It's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway, anyway, sorry, sorry. Give me the TV reference and you can have a commendation. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway, and balance. There we go. Off you go, folks. Balance my equation, please. <laughs> Pause the video and go. So we've got two carbons. Ah, now that's the trick, isn't it? Community or B99? Yeah, well done, Ashley. Commendation for Ashley. Brooklyn 99. Boom. Yeah. Community. What's community? I don't know what community is. He says, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. <laughs> so two carbons, two carbons. 
Love this. I love all lessons, Year 11. I really do. You guys are just the best class ever. I just love it. Uh, two carbons, two carbons. Hydrogens. What, three, five, six. Only two times by three to give me six. Now, here, this is the trap. I wonder if this has tricked anyone, if anyone's got it, because this is a very common question at GCSE, and lots of people make a mistake because of the oxygens. They forget to count the one in the alcohol. Um, Abed was first. Uh, I have no idea who, what, Abed, what? I, I don't understand what you're saying. Or community. I don't know what community is. What's community? I don't know. Um, so on this side, four, oh, I'm going to change my color there. Yeah, so I've got four oxygens here and three oxygens here. That's a total of seven. Well, I've got one in here that I don't want to change, so I'm going to put three in front of that to give me six, and I'm done. Always check your equation. Two carbons, two carbons. I'm going to make that a bit bigger. Two carbons, two carbons, six oxygens, Six oxygen, sorry, six hydrogens. Ooh. Mr. D, go watch community. No. Yeah. It sounds, it's called community. Like, what? Oh, I don't think so. Six hydrogens, six hydrogens, and seven oxygens, and seven oxygens. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Boom. I like it. Right. It's going to get, this is going to, I'm going to throw, make this an, another, another, another one that's tricky. Uh, let's see if oh, if anyone knows this, I will give them a commendation. There's no way any of you guys are going to like. I've taught you a lot of organic. How Ping might know it. Uh, no, new content. This is just revision, right? Yeah, it's just revision. <laughs> Plus O2 goes to... Go oh, what would my products be here, folks? I'll watch the start of the vid later, then okay. Yeah, that's fine. What are my products? What are my products? Ugh. That's sorry. That's the products dance. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I don't. I totally if I keep forgetting sometimes that people are watching me. <laughs> oh no! It's live on YouTube. Uh. Da, 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 da. What are my products? Woo! Thio oh, Kieran. Good, good effort. Uh, good effort. Switch the thio at the end and add an L. And you're there. Well done, Rue. Good man. This is ethane with the E, annoyingly. Thiol. You are not expect. By the way, that isn't even an A-level family. Like that is that is first year degree chemistry. Right there, guys. Right there. A thiol family. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so just to draw this out for you, just to draw this out for you, there you go, here's the displayed, I'll even give you structural, here's the structural version, CH3, CH2, S, oh, I've already done that, let's do molecular, C2H6S, completely useless structural, what is that, OML, oh my life? Is that what that stands for? Oh. Um, yeah, ethane thiol. Uh, well done for everyone recognizing their products. Carbon dioxide, water, and of course, whoops, water, and I'm also going to get SO2. Of course I am. If sulfur makes an appearance in an equation and you're burning it, oh my Lord. <laughs> uh, it's gonna become SO2. This is not complicated. By the way, that equation has been on IGCSE. It has been there. You don't have to name the ethane thiol. Like, you don't have to know thiols. Uh, by the way, this family, that, that there, that there is the thiol. The thiol homologous series. Homologous series. Right, let's balance it. Ooh, that's going to require quite, quite a lot of oxygen now, isn't it? Right, let's balance it. Two carbons, one carbon. I need to make that thinner. So add a two. Right. Reset, start again. Two carbons, two carbons. Yeah, hydrogens. Three, five, six. Only one that has hydrogen in it, so then add a three to give me six. Multiply the two by three gives me six. There we go. So I put that back in there. And then, oh, sulfur, one and one. That's good. That's useful. That was easy. 
And then oxygens. Well, on here we've got four, we've got three, and we've got two. We've just got two. Two. So total is nine. Need to ah, Mr. Duncan, do you normally balance the hydrogens first? No, I always balance the carbons first. Good question, Ben. I always just go left to right. Carbons first. You'll never have to worry about difficult balancing, Ben. They're not going to give you hard ones. Just do it. Elements going from left to right. I'll do another one, Ben, and I'll specifically talk about that for you. Happy to do it. Right. So I need nine. So to get nine, I need four and a half. Right, guys, this is the first half one we've got. This is the half trick. I am allowed, the only time I'm allowed to do the halves is when it's with an element. And this is an element. Oxygen's an element, so I can do a half. But what I can't do is leave that at GCSE. At A level, you finish there. But at GCSE, you can't leave halves in. Don't ask me why, it's stupid. I really hate it. Um, so what we're now gonna do is double everybody. If we double everybody, then the half will vanish. Yeah, that's going to become nine. That's going to become a four. That's going to become six. And that's going to become a two. And we're done. And that's my final equation. Yeah, so nine, four. And then we can check it. It's always nice to check. Four carbons, because we've got two carbons in each one. We've got two of it. Four carbons, four carbons. Six hydrogens times by two, 12 hydrogens. 12 hydrogens. Two sulfurs two sulfurs, oxygens, eight, six, four, 18, nine, times by two, we're done. Well, Mr. I just realized you nearly have 400 subscribers. <laughs> Sean, I know. Can I just point out that it's been really interesting looking at my, my kind of my demographic on this. Uh, so I looked at my recent analytics on the... Um, on my YouTube channel, most of my watches now appear to be happening in the UK, which is a bit crazy, really. Most of the people watching my lessons, I've got them all over the world now, which is kind of cool. I think that's kind of kind of a big shout out to all my fans out there in other countries. Love it. Let me guess, mostly teenagers. Um, yeah. Uh, well, if there were adults watching this channel, that would be weird because unless they're studying A level or GCSE chemistry, I don't really see the point in doing it. That'd be weird, Rue. Uh, I, I don't actually, I haven't even actually checked ages wise. I think it does come up on my analytics actually. Um, right, I'm running out of time on my lesson here. So we can now balance equations and we can definitely do complete. We now need to talk about incomplete because this is actually a bit more challenging. Right, so subtitle please folks. Subtitle is incomplete combustion. Incomplete combustion. Incomplete combustion. So, uh, and one time, uh, congratulating Mr. Fallon, 200 is now at 400. I'm pretty sure that was the start of lockdown. Yeah, something like that. I think the longer I'm on lockdown and doing these lessons online, the stuff, I think they'll kind of grow. I think, I don't know. It did stop for a while, but yeah, it's looking cool, fun, funky on my subscribers. Is 400 a lot? I don't think it really is, to be fair. It's 400 people. You're joking. It's like 7.6 billion people out there, 400. This is a waste of my time, really. Although I love my subscribers, you all fab. Um, incomplete combusted. So when we burn anything incomplete, there's two versions, which is the nightmare. So we've got, let's take methane as the example. If we go methane and oxygen, yeah, and we burn it incompletely, we're going to get carbon monoxide and water. That one is now incomplete. How do we recognize incomplete? We recognize it because of carbon monoxide. You need to know one thing about carbon monoxide. It is toxic. Actually, no, actually technically two. Uh, carbon monoxide, it is toxic and prevents, prevents blood, prevents blood from carrying oxygen. That's more of a biology question, by the way, but it has been asked actually at GCSE Chem. Go figure. Like, I have to teach it based on that. But notice that water is still produced. Water is always made in, in either complete or incomplete. It's always a product. 
The only time you don't get water is when you're burning something which doesn't have hydrogen in it. So I'll give an example of that. I'll, let me balance this one first. So one carbon, I'm gonna color code it as usual. One carbon, one carbon, that's good. Four hydrogens, two hydrogens, added two. There we go. And then, so four hydrogens, four hydrogens, oxygens, two, right, I've got one, and then, two, so three oxygens on this side. So I need one and a half there, and now I need to double everybody. Gotta get rid of the halves. Yeah, I'm gonna double everybody. So two, three, two, and four. And we're done. Doesn't CO destroy hemoglobin? No, actually, Ben, it doesn't destroy hemoglobin. It actually binds to it permanently. So I actually teach this properly at A2 in uh, A2 chemistry in year 13. So hemoglobin has a rather complicated structure. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm just going to show you this anyway. Yeah, so hemoglobin. Actually, all I actually need is heme. I'll put hemoglobin. Why not? So hemoglobin images, I want the 3D one, one that's lying down flat, if I can find it. There's a very specific uh, picture of this that I want. So you can see that it's like a square structure, but what I want you to realize is that you're in a hemoglobin, the, the structure is actually like in a square kind of structure, and you've got an iron two plus iron in the center, and then you've got these all these big wiggly lines coming out like this. And what happens is the oxygen molecules bind to the iron like that. Yeah, actually on either side. Uh, it's not on either side, actually. It's actually only on one side because there's actually another tail, I believe, that comes around to the other side like that. <clears throat> but the oxygen molecule binds to the top. There's This is an oxygen molecule. And it binds to the iron. And then your hemoglobin carries it around your blood. And then when, you're, when, you, when you get to an organ, the oxygen is then released again. But with carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide can also bind to hemoglobin. And it actually binds, I believe, I could actually tell you, hang on a sec. Uh, carbon monoxide. Done the wrong colors there, done the wrong dots and crosses on that particular side. So that's the crosses and that's the dots. Now, ah, I'll do the dots there. And then that one there was a coordinate bond in that direction, meaning that this guy loses an electron, becomes positive, and this guy becomes fully negative. So it binds by the carbon. Doesn't it bind to the O2 carbon? Yes. So what now happens is that the carbon in carbon monoxide the carbon and carbon monoxide binds to the iron and then will never come off. So it actually renders that hemoglobin molecule useless and it can't pick up oxygen anymore. It binds permanently. Binds permanently. Um, and just to say, by the way, you have to learn at A2 chemistry that the C is the one that's doing it. I just had to build that. I couldn't remember which one it was, the C or the O, and so I worked it out by building carbon monoxide as a dot and cross diagram. Um, but it's kind of cool that, so it binds permanently to hemoglobin, preventing it from carrying oxygen. And as I said, like in biology, that's all you learn. And then when you get to chemistry, you've got to actually learn why. Yeah, you get so much more detail when it comes in at chemistry for explaining these things. Um, okay, so there's the first incomplete combustion. There is another, which we all know, there is another one. I'm gonna burn methane again in oxygen. But this time I get a different product. On the chat, please, what's this product? So we've got one incomplete here. I'm gonna do it in red. We've got number one incomplete there. And then this is complete num incomplete number two. What's my other product? Well done, Isabel, she's on it, lightning fast. Well done, Isabel, you star. Gonna get carbon, well done, Ashley. We're gonna get carbon. So this is another incomplete, even less energy. If we were gonna rank these on energy, by the way, energy output, if we had energy, energy output, it's too slow. And I have methane as a fuel, and I have complete, and then incomplete, incomplete with carbon monoxide. Gotta be careful here, don't I, I'm a detail. Incomplete CO, and then 
incomplete, incomplete carbon, yeah, then what we're going to get is the complete energy is up here. The incomplete with carbon monoxide is about there, and incomplete carbon is about there. So you realize just how good complete is and the difference between it. So just imagine, like, <clears throat> how many times have you guys been standing behind a bus and you've been at a bus stop and um, the bus pulls away and you see this black smoke. That black smoke is carbon. What that bus is doing there is this guy. So could you imagine if you could suddenly, if you could suddenly give that bus 10, 20 times more oxygen and all of a sudden it'll become this, what would, what would the, 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 what would the, what would the, uh, the, the, the bus moving away look like instead of the bus, like you can imagine like, sorry about this, my terrible diagrams, like the bus moving away kind of like, you know, like this with this cloud of black horrible smoke coming out of it but if you then had the same bus and you suddenly gave it all the oxygen it needed it would accelerate it would be like boom it would be off like a gunshot it'd be amazing like the difference would be epic you, you, you're talking about keeping up with ferraris here guys that's the difference like the energy output is bonkers anyway so we can now balance the equation one carbon one carbon, four hydrogens, four hydrogens, two oxygens, two oxygens, and we're done. You realize that it all comes down to the amount of oxygen. If you look at the two equations here, and in fact, we look at the methane one as well. So to get complete combustion of methane, we need two. Would you risk it giving off too much carbon monoxide? Uh, in open air, Ruby, no, wouldn't even care. Like, as long as you've got good ventilation, it's fine. Um, in, in a room, I, there are, when I do a practical with year sevens, if I've got 30 year sevens in a classroom and they're all in pairs, that's 15, and they all have Bunsen burners out, and we were doing a heating game and looking at the different flames, if you put it on a medium flame, you can actually produce carbon monoxide. Even in a well-ventilated room, that will still be okay. But I wouldn't really like students to be, I wouldn't like to do, like, two or three hours in a room of lesson of, of kids doing a half on a Bunsen burner producing carbon monoxide. I wouldn't really want it. Like, yeah, I just wouldn't. I mean, the bus, well, look, that's going to be putting the carbon monoxide out into the atmosphere and no one cares about that. It's called not caring about your world. Like, no one would care, really. Yeah. They are producing carbon monoxide and carbon particulates. Yeah, the, this is carbon monoxide. And this is, these are called, by the way, add this to your notes. These are carbon particulates particulates so we've covered we've covered the problem with carbon monoxide we now need to cover the problem with carbon particulates and this can anyone remember the environmental problem what's the environmental problem with carbon particulates who can remember i've only got four minutes left in my lesson save the earth has left the chat <laughs> <laughs> nice, Ashley. Nice. Thank you, Ashley. Absolutely spot on. This is global dimming. Now, I know that seems odd that. Like, people go, what? What's global dimming? Guys, we experience it every four years in Malaysia. Yeah? With the haze. The particles literally get into the air. So this is um, particulate dimming. Check this out. It literally dims it. It's, it blocks the light out. Yeah. You know, this is midday in Dubai or something, and this is what it looks like. Like, where's the sun? Like, this gets even worse. Like, if you go, if you want to go really bad, particulate dim, dimming, let's go for the Kuwait fires. Like, these were insane. Like, this was midday in the desert. In the desert. The desert. Like, you see the movies of people walking around, you know, in the sun with their headbands on and they're dying and they're lost in the desert and that sun will throw up a whole load of carbon particulates up to there and you're just going to block out the sun. This is called global dimming. So, okay, the next one, of course, is just to mention at this stage, carbon dioxide, 
does also have a problem. Carbon dioxide does cause global warming. We all know this. And this actually is the more important one now. As we move to being able to make better cars, better engines, you know, we're always focusing on getting complete combustion. Max energy, of course we are. But we're producing CO2, which is causing the climate to warm up, which is having a huge impact on our planet. In the next 10 years, you're going to see it. It's going to be terrible. We're already seeing it. Australia was on fire for four months this year. Like, guys, this is crazy. All because of carbon dioxide. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right. Now, I haven't quite finished today's lesson. I'm going to end it here. But what I can do is say incomplete is done. Products are done and their problems are done. Uh, I haven't quite done all of them. I'm realizing that I haven't done. Next lesson, I will finish this off and talk about SO2 and NO2 causing acid rain. And I'll talk about where that comes from. Um, but I will end the lesson there today, folks. It has been an absolute pleasure to chat with you guys today. You have just been a wonderful class, as always. And I hope you found the revision useful. Um, if you have any questions, send me a message. How about cracking? Shan, I don't, I, I will teach you cracking over the next couple, uh, soon. As soon as we've done all the stuff from year nine that you need for your test, I'll then drop into going into the new content and do cracking. But you guys have been amazing. Thanks, guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. And I really hope to see you all soon. See you later. You're very welcome.